Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. We don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. And the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. If you do not breathe through writing, if you do not cry out in writing, or sing in writing, then don't write, because our culture has no use for it. Life is a process of becoming, a combination of states we have to go through. Where people fail is that they wish to elect a state and remain in it. This is a kind of death. The role of a writer is not to say what we can all say, but what we are unable to say. The possession of knowledge does not kill the sense of wonder and mystery. There is always more mystery. Age does not protect you from love. But love, to some extent, protects you from age. You don't find love, it finds you. It's got a little bit to do with destiny, fate, and what's written in the stars. The personal life deeply lived always expands into truths beyond itself. Do not seek the because, in love there is no because, no reason, no explanation, no solutions. Truth is something which can't be told in a few words. Those who simplify the universe only reduce the expansion of its meaning. Sometimes we reveal ourselves when we are least like ourselves. When you make a world tolerable for yourself, you make a world tolerable for others. Our life is composed greatly from dreams, from the unconscious, and they must be brought into connection with action. They must be woven together. Life is truly known only to those who suffer, lose, endure adversity, and stumble from defeat to defeat. Shame is the lie someone told you about yourself. Angela Anais Juana Antolina Rosa Edelmeyer Nin Y. Colmel, born in Paris, February 21, 1903, was a French-born American diarist, essayist, novelist, and writer of short stories and erotica. Nin was the daughter of the composer Joaquin Nin and the classically trained singer Rosa Colmel. Nin wrote journals prolifically from age 11 until her death. Her journals, many of which were published during her lifetime, detail her private thoughts and personal relationships. Her journals also describe her marriages to Hugh Parker Guiler and Rupert Pohl. In addition to her numerous affairs, including those with psychoanalyst Otto Rank and writer Henry Miller, both of whom profoundly influenced Nin and her writing. Nin wrote several novels, critical studies, essays, short stories, and volumes of erotica. Much of her work, including the collections of Erotica Delta of Venus and Little Birds, was published posthumously amid renewed critical interest in her life and work. Nin spent her later life in Los Angeles, California, where she died of cervical cancer in 1977. She was a finalist for the Neustadt International Prize for Literature in 1976.